We'll be going over the other type of loop in this video, the while loop. In my other video we saw how loops work and why we would use a for loop. A while loop is generally used when we need to loop based on a condition rather than counting. So let's talk about condition-based looping. Like a for loop, the while loop starts out with the keyword while. Following that we have a conditional like we would use to write an if statement. Let's see an example. If we run that cell, this will continue to print out the value of health until the, until the condition is met. In this case, once health is no longer greater than zero, the loop stops running. On the other hand, we decrement health by one, so each iteration reduces health closer to zero. If we didn't decrement health, at any point in time, this would become an infinite loop, which is bad. Now, while versus for. For loops are generally used when you need to count or iterate over a collection of elements. While loops are generally used when doing condition-based looping. When using a while loop, often you'll see Boolean variables. Each loop has their use cases. In most cases, it's personal preference, but the general rule of thumb is counting with for loops, conditions with while loops. And please note that the pass, break and continue statements all work the same way for while loops as well. Now, I've mentioned infinite loops. An infinite loop will continue to run until the program breaks. The computer is shut down or until time stops. Knowing this, stay away from creating infinite loops. Here is an example of an infinite loop. If you were running this within a cell, eventually you would have to shut down Jupyter Notebook and restart it. This is because the game over variable never comes true and the condition is running until game over becomes true. Always make sure you have a way to exit your loops. Whether it be by a break or by a condition. Some words about nested loops. The concept of a loop within a loop is what we call a nested loop. The concepts of a loop still apply. When using nested loops, the inner loop must always finish running before the outer loop can continue. Let's see an example. If you run that cell, at first this may seem a bit confusing since there is a lot of a lot going on here. In total we can see that the inner loop runs six times and the outer loop runs twice. The value of i only increments when the outer loop runs, which doesn't occur until the inner loop finishes. The inner loop must count from 0 to 3 each time to run the next iteration on the outer loop. 